Hey folks, Cool18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Grand Ages Medieval. We're currently trying to fight these freaking bandits over here, and they are Retreat. ridiculously potent. There's a lot of stuff going on over there. It's very frustrating. Uh, one of the things I realized here is Adrianople is currently not actually producing any smith goods. So we're going to go ahead and queue one of those up right away because we want some of that happening. And then we'll probably queue up some more. You've got some free workers? Good. You know what I'll do? I'll queue up a second one of those buildings afterwards. Excellent. Now we are still technically in a war with uh, the orange people over here. We'll see what we want to do about that soon enough. We do know that we need a lot more money if we want any of our production to happen. You got interrupted, I think, by bandits. We're taking care of that at this point, Let's so go ahead and see if you can rebuild that road. And we'll let things go by. Take a look at my troops, and... Flee. Actually, have everyone run. Darn it. And you go get reinforcements wherever you can go, which I think Bursa will be the closest. Same thing with all you guys. We're going to send you over to Bursa so you can fully reinforce. Jeez. Bandits. Tougher than expected. Um, I've got some money. I might be able to afford one more. Um, axemen versus polearms. Archers. Do I want actually just more archers? Because they're using quite a bit of axemen, so presumably another archer would be a good idea. I don't know how it works with, like, closing. Like, we don't really have a front line or anything. Oh, yeah. let's, let's give it a try and see what happens. Probably we lose all our money. Adrianople, you're slowly building up the tool thing. We're trying to improve this road. Hopefully we can do that this time without being interrupted. Cranova is complaining about lack of quite a few goods. It needs coal... It needs coal and steel. It needs wool. We're gonna we're gonna build another town up near there. Is what's gonna happen. Maybe right in these mountains here. Try to get some coal and steel and wool and wheat directly to them. That's an interesting question. Uh, I guess I can't hold Alt to see the building place until I've got a settler. But if we can do wool up there, I'm not sure. Wool and grain and things. Uh, well, certainly some of those things like grain. I think you can technically build anywhere. Wool may be the same as long as it sort of has open fields. You can do sheep herding. Okay, these guys are almost full. Can wait for their bars to be completely full, and then we're going to send them out. <clears throat> Back to the bandit camp. And, oh it's shit. Got to send them now. Bandits are out and about. Trying to cause trouble. I do not want to lose, and technically that scout we can kill as well. I do not want to lose another traitor to a freaking bandit. <clears throat> Come on, slaughter them all. Adrianople, there you go. You got your smithy going on now. Very nice. Um, and you've got some free workers. I'm going to go ahead and get you another coal and another metal. And then we'll wait on the rest. Both because you don't have the goods, but also the free workers. Okay. You guys are relatively fit. Far. Let's move you near the bandit encampment. God, how many guys are going to pop out of there as soon as it starts? Okay, not that many. Only double stack. Nope. Triple. They're hiding. But my archers aren't being directly engaged right now, so that feels pretty good. Lots of sheep. Just want to monitor them. If anyone starts to get too low, we will flee again. Although, I suspect that this time we will win. Uh, they're dropping pretty fast. Go, go, archers. Yeah, okay, they've lost one of their stacks already. Our front line is about to collapse. You, flee. Retreat. That is an interesting path for your retreat. retreat. Are, are you retreating? What about you? You retreat, retreat as well. Only archers left. But there we go. It's, it's, ah, really? They spawned another one? How does this witchery work? Uh, meanwhile, yeah, you guys can't actually reinforce in Constantinople. Reinforcements at last. Reinforcements at last. 
And my builder is done. That's good. Um, I guess I will extend these roads over here. Hands out your pockets. Yeah, that's some money, but it's worth it. Oh, a trade you deal. You want a transfer agreement, you'll give me 21 grand and a unit. The unit's going to be expensive, but 21 grand's pretty good. You idlers are currently recharging. And then I'm getting a troop from somewhere, from over here, from Venice. <laughs> Alright, seriously though. What's going on over here? As I see it, you want a transit agreement? You'll give me 15 grand. I like it. There we go, finally. Discovered your first predator cave. Okay. That's probably one of the troops that that troops that's moving from Venice. It's probably them. Uh, you need to recharge. Now, I think there are barracks. There are on the front line. Good. All Head over right. there. Oh, there's my new unit there. Go there. And my remaining idle troops from here. Why don't you come to here? Let's because, again, there's a barracks there. So you should be able to reinforce. And that'll be pretty good. Ooh. It's not too far. Check out the tents. Oh, I think that's an experiment. Oh, no. Tent of a veteran. As soon as your troop approaches the tent, uh, you want to learn something. So 28 experience points and some money. Cool. The Level up. The goal. <clears throat> all right. Okay, all the troops are heading to the front. Uh, you finished upgrading, and you still have some free workers. Good. The town's clearly going well. Let's get some extra... That. You'll be a little short of material for a second, but overall you're going to be fine. You've got metal tools, which will hopefully supply the rest of my empire. Which really, I need to keep focusing on that, but I'll get the rest going too. Missing materials, but you'll get them soon. Good. Do you have... You do. Um, I don't think I'd want to improve the inn. Yeah, I gotta start improving some more stuff soon. Resist a siege. Does it also give me bigger borders? Maybe it doesn't. Why don't you, though, get me a settler? Actually, I'll build it in my capital since you produce more of the stuff. Yeah, good. Build me a settler. I'll want a settler probably around here to stop the bandits from respawning, but also maybe in here. That will probably be a good place to feed uh, Crayover over here with some raw resources because it's a pure manufacture town. Okay, here are my troops. So they do have, you know, a fair expense to maintain. But hopefully it'll be okay. So my barracks are here. I can recruit some more things. Upgrade. Archers. You know, we've got plenty of archers. So we don't need that. So just hang out. Recharge your stuff. Then we go and attack the town. Okay. Good. Bursa, what's up with you? Rat infestation. I don't know what to do about that. Can you go kill him with troops? Well, no. The troops are too far away for me to do that. Oh, and my builder guy is done. Um, I'm not going to build anything right now because I want to make sure I have enough money to maintain my troops while they're out in the field. Do, do, do. Just wait for another week to, a week to tick by. There we go. Which, eh, they're still working. Oh, Crayova may not have enough people. No, you've got a good number of people, actually. One more tick. You know what? Screw it. Go and attack. Yeah, huge numbers. Now, while they're out here, they're going to kill some more people. Their morale is going to drop. They're going to need a bit more pay, I think, is the way it works. Killing some more scouts. Very nice. Nope. Money is good. And we are breaking down this town walls pretty aggressively. Wonderful. We do have our settler right over here. Um, and, yeah, I think what we're going to do is move him out here. Uh, there we go. So yeah, sheep's not a thing. It's part of these cultivated commodities. So if I put you, say, like right there, you'll get coal, metal, salt, apparently, and you can do grain and wool, all of which Crayover wants. I like it. Town's going well here. Good. It still tells me that that guy's idle, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Oops. I just forget I can't click and drag that way. You guys are still doing fine. You're still doing fine. The town is being picked down. Uh, our number of troops is dropping pretty quickly here. Uh, 
or my fighting power or something. Am I not going to be able to maintain the siege? Do I need to cycle troops in and out? What's going to happen here? I'm curious. Oh, well, still going. Should I have more troops? Fewer troops? I don't know how this works. Or, wait. Oh, the green is their health. So as that goes to zero, the siege will win. 1100 is probably, like, my remaining stuff. Because I'm taking a hit whenever there's combat. Okay. Okay, now, there we go. The town walls fall. Boom. Hostile takeover. Let's take all my troops. Park them in the town. Do you have a barracks? You do, so you'll be able to reinforce. Uh, you have an inn as well, so we can recruit, recruit a trader. You're missing tools right now, but I don't think you need the tools for the trader. No. Workers and money, and that's all. Good. And what do you produce? Fair amount of raw stuff. And wine, which is nice. So I think a trade route from here to Craiova is actually going to be really good for us. Meanwhile, where's my settler? Hey, a new rank! Which means more development points. Excellent. I would really, I think, like to unlock the fortress construction. I don't know exactly what it's going to do for us, but we'll see how it works. Uh, we could get even faster roads, which, you know what? I think we're going to do. We're starting to have a lot of distance going on. And I like that. Um, we currently can produce all the goods. It might be nice. Actually, we don't have pomp. But as I say, it'll be nice to just produce more stuff at this point. And I think I'm just going to produce more wheat. Okay. So once you're finished charging up, we'll go and get the next thing. You are a new trader. Excellent. We're going to plan a route just from here to there. And that's going to be good and lovely. Activate that. Ready. Route is ready. Excellent. Uh, my building squad, why don't we go ahead and... Oh, did you get interrupted again? Or no, I can get the next level of road. Right, of course. Shoot, that's a lot of work. Okay, I'm going to do this long one. Oh, that is really expensive. Okay, so we already have normal routes going on there. Okay, so let's just hang tight. Settler. Oh, you stop there. I want you to come over here. And... Yeah, right around this re uh, recommended spot. So we'll get coal. Okay, there we go. Coal, metal, salt, wood, bricks, and we can cultivate things. Definitely building a town. A nice, nice town. Um, wood comes from here. We don't have any bricks nearby here. We might do something like wood, bricks, grain, and the metals. Um, it means we're not producing salt here, though. But I actually think we're. this is going to be fine, because there's going to be a lot of demand for a lot of this stuff. Go ahead and get me... I don't have enough cash, okay. Um, oh, we can produce another trader. I'm going to produce one down here in Bursa. And you've got an extra card. Good. So we'll produce a trader over here and set up a trader out from Bursa to Nice temporarily. Just to um, get them some of their basic goods. Route is ready. You can't build. Oh! Yes! I need to actually build a road. Um, why don't you build a road from Crayova to Nice? Looks good. Which happens basically instantly. And actually build me another road this way around. Looks good. Give me some extra options. Now, my settler, I can activate the you route now. Route is ready. You're gonna get wood and lumber and some other stuff just to help the town grow. But the wood and lumber will help us actually build things, which is important. What the hell is that? Is that a force fire or like the maw of hell? So much running about. We don't have a ton of money. I'm a little worried about maintenance. Did I grab everyone? No, I didn't. Everyone. Time to start crawling. There we go. Get in there. See if we can take over more towns. See if we can conquer all of Orange. Although I do have to set up some defenses here. Holy forest fire! First of all, what a cool effect. Kudos. Um, hopefully you don't reach a town, no. You're out of woods, woods there, and you've got a river here, and I don't think it looks like you can cross the road, so that's good. Uh, you're currently fighting out here. There you go, then you'll surround the town. I don't think I need this many troops, but it's working right now. I wonder if the more troops you have, the faster the town falls. 
So town is still slowly losing some of its dudes, even though the siege progress isn't going. Interesting, the stats. And then some of them get reset briefly when we go and fight, but not completely, so that's okay. Town is short on all the things. Oh, I need another... Tr oh, no, I do have a trader that goes between these two. But Krayova may not have that much stuff right now, but it will soon. Meanwhile, Nice, um... Build. 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 And then you'll run out of material, so I'm not going to queue up too many more things. This is the one still bringing more stuff to Nice. What do you think of this offer? Uh, decline. Foolish of you. I don't want another soldier! I want to be able to renegotiate and ask for more money instead. Can I offer you a better alliance? 30 grand for peace, um, no. Why did you not... I would rather just take more of your towns, although I'm, my money supply isn't great right now, which means we might get morale breaks, which seems to have happened. Yeah, they have no morale because they weren't getting paid. We are expanding pretty aggressively. I'm going to actually trim down my troops by one. Um, I'm going to get rid of this archer. Everyone, to the end. Save some money. I think we still have enough of an army to get things done. There we go. They're fully morale. Actually, no, they still don't have any morale. Supply limited. Ah! Okay, but we are sending traders here, finally. There you go. Well, they got lots of <laughs> lots of wine, fruit, honey, and furs. There's a famine in town, technically. I guess because they're not getting, maybe, grain? Like, I don't know. They still have fruit. Nice, you're missing labor, but otherwise you're doing fine. Your town uh, is growing, which is good. You'll get some of that. What I'm going to do is... Oh, I don't have any money. Never mind. Hmm. And, yeah, you still don't have the supply. Okay, you know what? I should have taken the peace deal. Your troops won't move, so I can't move someone to negotiate. Maybe the next time it comes up, I'll go ahead and take the 30 grand. We can always declare war on them again later, right? City's improving. Another trader coming here. Excellent. Now, as soon as you deliver your goods, I'm going to change your route here. Now you're just going from Nice to Crayova and back. And we'll activate that. Because you got enough raw goods to get kickstarted. We just needed to get some wood and bricks over to Nice, over here. And um, just so they could start building. And now they've got that. Now they're just short on workers. So now we're going to supply Crayova, which needs a lot of things. And from Crayova, we go up to Oridea, which needs a ton of stuff as well. Traders not bringing a whole lot over there. Still no morale? Still no morale. Hmm. Crayova is still missing plenty of raw stuff. Oh, right. It still needs wool um, for the cloth industry. Which we're not producing here because we're producing other things, which I still think is fine. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, but we, I still want another town over here to basically ward off the, um, the bandits. It could be, um, another source of fish, even though Constantinople's already making fish, but fish, wool, and, you know, whatever other stuff, and then feed that into Crayova as well. And it's a big industrial town. It should be getting fed from a lot of different directions. It is considered to be, like, really wealthy and profitable, though. And this town is improving. Slowly. Very slowly. How many tools you got over here? Nine. And you do produce them. Assuming you've got the goods. And we produce them in Adrianople as well. We actually got quite a bit in storage there. Which is nice to see. Still out of supply? Can I, like, try to go over here? I can disband you. This will be fun. Are you, though? No, you're not. I don't know how the supply works. Is there any chance that there's a border problem, which is why they can't get out of here? I don't know. Trying to upgrade to a big office for longer siege defense. You have fruit. An overkill of it. 
You don't have grain. Wouldn't surprise me if that's the problem. You're still waiting for more workers, which are growing per week as your prosperity grows. Um, and yeah, we don't have a whole lot of cash to rush things. Actually, can I send some dudes from here? That was a thing, right? Um, Trek. Send all my free workers to Nice. Cost me a grand. Well worthwhile. You don't see them on the map? That's too bad. Can't remember how long it was going to take. Mm, there we go. Now you got lots of workers. Excellent. Okay, so they did come through, and now you've got some excess free workers. Wonderful. Um, let's go and get you... Oh, we don't have any money. There, an extra level of a grain farm anyway. Because we do need more grain, I think. What do you think of this offer? Um... No, I don't want more soldiers. Thought I made that exceptionally clear. Can I offer you a better? I hope. That I accept. We are now at peace, and you know what? I think since we're at peace, I will go ahead and disband one of the Everyone, archers. The a four stack is still pretty good. Still not being supplied over here, but I don't have to worry about my stuff being pillaged between these two towns, which is something. We've got a little bit of money now. Um. And yeah, go ahead and give me the second level of both of those as well. Missing raw materials. We got some money, so I think what we're going to do is we will go ahead and get another settler. Oh yeah, it needs a place with bricks, which Bursa should have some. There we go. Recruit an extra settler. Put it over here, get the wool farming, send that to Crayova, and then we'll have a lot of resources kicking about. around. I don't know what to do about these guys. Disband them all, rebuild them somewhere else. Uh, that thing was something, but I don't know what it was. Still complaining about famine, the building materials. Can I cancel this one? No. Oh, you're trying to build this as well. Although that's not a bad idea. Pulling some stuff out of there. Uh, let me alter your route. So you do that, but you'll also go... Um, Hang on. Ordea to Crayova, back to here, to Nice. That way you can get some raw materials directly from Nice every other trip. And that might be a good idea. Nice, meanwhile, is looking good. A little short on labor, so let's send some from Bursa. A bunch. Six grand, 6.6 .6 weeks. I think that's probably worthwhile. Oh, meanwhile, over here, I gotta suck up to this fellow. Get him actually part of our empire. Um, we need to get our sympathy higher, so if I go and offer him... I guess I can just offer him a gift? Is sympathy a thing? Oh. There, for sympathy. Okay. So sympathy is the same as offering nothing, like, on the other side. This offer looks right. Whoa! It's going to take a long time to suck up to you. Part of me is thinking if we shouldn't just declare war on you, you butthead. Phew. Meanwhile, still have nothing. Still short on all the things. We don't have an excess of tools over here yet, but they are being built. You are still complaining about a lack of coal and metal. You do have metal. You don't have coal yet. Oh, we haven't actually started this... Um, these buildings yet. Uh, you have only one free worker, but that'll be okay. There we go. We'll get one of each queued up. That'll be fine. So you're the one doing that. You're the one just bouncing between these two towns. Which, honestly, just like the trio is probably going to be sufficient. Good thing we're at peace. There's a lot of mercs buzzing around there. Buddy boy? Hmm. And you're going to bring some wood, bricks, and some grain to Oredea. Still not particularly happy town. What the hell? Over here. There we go. We finally have those mines up and running. You have some free workers as well. Um, I'm going to go to a, like... Oh, I don't have any money. <laughs> Never mind. 
So you build these things up. You reached maximum workload. How have you reached maximum workload? You still have space. What does that mean? What do you think of this offer? That is a lot of money. I don't particularly need the soldiers. Everything is stamped and sealed. Well, there we go, and the troops will go to Nice. Can I pull I these guys on. back yet? I can! They have morale! They're supplied! They're no longer in a famine. They're missing a lot of labor, because I think their town shrunk dramatically over time. Can I offer you a better alliance? What am I gonna do with all these soldiers? If I'm just getting better alliances with these dudes over and over. I'm gonna decline. We're gonna keep our five stack of troops over here. <clears throat> he does have a big army. I, I do have to say, he's got a it's lot of troops. And he's got a lot of towns. Oh, um... I built a settler ages ago and never did anything Let's with go. him. Let's move you out there. Let's move our troops oh out, God. just in case we need to defend. Looking alright. Oh, do we actually have a scout? No we problem. do have a scout. Let's go. So, fish I want. Probably more fish. Um, and mostly I just want to build some wool and stuff, but I think I like the idea of having it on the coast. Minimize overlap over here. So if I build here, I'll get fish, salt, more raw goods. I mean, it's not a particular advanced town, but I think it's going to be a nice to have. Uh, we'll go ahead and say fish, um, wool, and I don't know what else, honestly. you got plenty of veggies. We might want more grain. Actually, I suppose I could do salt and meat at the same time. We go right into a meat industry. And let me just hold the last spot. We might get pomp or something at some point over here. Uh, build one of you. And one of you. And... Oh, yeah. No, let's go to Constantinople for now. Uh, we're going to go and summon a new trader. And what we'll do is we'll send an initial batch of trade manually from Bursa to Pomeroy. Oh, we need um, a road from Constantinople to here. A good choice. Yeah, I think it's a pretty good choice, too. And what the hell? Let's upgrade it at the same time. Let's get to go, work. go. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and put a cut in here, folks. Thank you very much for watching another episode of uh, the Let's Play of Grand Ages Medieval. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.